did that interview, joint interview on 60 Minutes. Right. right. Exactly. And that was right after he had asked her to stay in 2012 after the election. Uh, and this was not known before the book. Uh, you know, they're on Air Force One, and he says, I'd like you to stay for a year. Uh, for a year? For a year. And she says, uh, she says no. And he says, well, how about a little bit longer? And she says, no, it's, it's time for me to go. Um, and, you know, he, he lets it go at that, doesn't and keep pushing. And why did she say that? I think she felt like she'd done her, her public service and it was time to get out and yeah. probably uh, make an assessment about 2016. Do you think that she never stopped thinking about being president even after 2008? I think she's never stopped thinking about pres being president. Lots of people give her high marks for the way she came to the Senate, meaning that her acceptance by the Senate was because she didn't come with blaring trumpets. She came with her sleeves rolled up, ready to go to work. Exactly. And we talked to a lot of Republicans in this book um, who actually give her credit for working across the aisle and for not being, you know, um, I think she called herself a workhorse, not a show horse, and for sort of, um, you know, doing that, uh, for, for working behind the scenes, for trying to move legislation together and for...